All right, what is this? Um, positive challenge. Make the world go round. Help your sims spread a kind word. Hey, that's what we're doing. We're spreading positivity by the donation goal. Uh, <laughs> have your sims ever wanted to be... Actually, we should probably look at the patch notes. I haven't done that. But no, who cares? For a limited time, your sims can add motivational posters with power, positivity, uh, powerful positive energy and reward. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. <gasps> oh, you tease. <laughs> Whenever they put in the next expansion right there. Ugh. All right, let's go ahead. Here's my save game. Let's load it up. No patch notes yet. I thought they um, released like information on what was coming on the patch like yesterday. Uh, maybe not the exact note. Oh yeah, and they changed all the travel icons to cars. Like, come on, as if you're not... Um... Oh no, I didn't mean to do play. Because it was pouring with rain, so I don't want to build in the rain. Oh look, positivity challenge. Uh, oh, it's kind of blocked by the donation bar, but whatever. Uh, hang on, I need to go to build mode, because... Uh, we are not gonna... Oh yeah, and they changed the scale. This is actually good. Uh, my face is covering half of it, but hang on. So they actually changed the scale of all of the map icons, because if you have... Well, all the worlds now, they used to be... They used to see like four in a row. <laughs> so it took up like the whole screen, and you couldn't see anything. You did like scroll. So that's actually kind of good that they changed that, because <laughs> there's too many worlds. Ah, uh, oh, you. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Anyway, I'm in new crest. All right. Uh, build mode. Okay, here we are. Now, <gasps> guys, we have terrain tools. <laughs> Look at what I can do. Four, four, oh, four. That's as high as you can go, though. <laughs> I mean. It's pretty good. And then I assume I can build on top of that, right? And go up like five levels. Actually, because they added um, they added two more basement levels, didn't they? This is apparently this is the first thing I'm doing for some reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Because I added, uh, so there's now four basement levels, I think. And then you have four above ground levels as well. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't want to do this. Uh, isn't there a button to flatten the line? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, and then the, the foundation just stays there. Oh, yeah, they did all the foundation update too. Oh, man, uh, this is going to be so much fun to build with. Like, you can do this now with the foundations that are different heights. And do that instead. How good is that? Man, this is good stuff. Anyway, let's uh, delete this. <laughs> let's, let's get rid of this. We don't need that. Um, Alright, so... We gotta do the pit, which I'm thinking we just do the pit here, then we have the house next to it. So I think maybe if we just half the lot, um, which I guess I'll just do like this. I could I could do it a better way, but this is apparently the way I'm doing it, so. Uh, so half the lot is there, okay. So, we will be using terrain tools to build. Now we need to split level. Yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it? So they said um, when they sort of announced the terrain tools, they said that uh, split leveling is not something that was in this update, obviously, but that's something that they uh, they want to add and that they're keen to sort of look into it. So it's definitely something that's possible. Um, but so that's good. That means that they said they want to do it at some point. All right, I don't need a brush so big. So we need to go. How how deep was this pit, do you reckon? I think it was about like, you know what, hang on, let me, um, parks and rack the pit. I think it's some reference images. Oh, hang on, the pit by mouse rat, hang on. You guys told me I should be singing that, so maybe I should play it. <laughs> Get those scenes with 100 bits. <laughs> hey, can you hear that? I don't even know where that's going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was in the pit. <laughs> you were. I totally forgot about this. You were in the That's pit. Weird. We all fell in the pit. The pit. I fell in the pit. You fell in the pit. I'm gonna have to smooth this out, obviously, but I'm just getting the level at the moment. This is only like a minute song, by the way. I'll turn it up after this. It's appropriate. Sometimes life's gonna get you 
Whoops. That was The Pit by Mouse Rat. <laughs> we can talk again. So that's the song from the show if you haven't seen it. Um, Alright, so this will work. Uh, I need to get out... Oh, also, uh, Geno Sims. The big question is, I have is a, about attached rooms with different foundations. Uh, so you can't attach uh, different heights of rooms. Oh, actually, you know what I should be doing? I haven't been recording this. Um, wait, actually, before, you know, look, we're, we're figuring stuff out. I remember they said to me, they said look in the lessons and then go to build mode because that had information about terrain. And it gave me the hotkeys. I can't remember what the hotkeys are and I want to know. Uh, uh, did I miss it? Build tools? No, that's just that. Oh, it's like there. Uh, that's that. I think it was... Oh, this guy. Control and press those keys. Ah, okay. So control. So what I was looking up, by the way, was so this you can like level terrain to the height of the thing in the middle, um, which is that? That's not working. Maybe it wasn't. Did I read that wrong? Oh wait, no. Hang on. I think we're using the wrong tool. Flatten to height. This one. Yeah, there we go. So this thing in the middle, wherever you set it, is exactly where the uh, the terrain will go to. So if it's like I want it exactly this height, I can flatten that bit to there and this bit to there. Which is super useful. And by the way, I'll be doing a tutorial on this, on the terrain tools once I've had a bit more time with them as well. Uh, anyway, so that's that. Uh, so what was the, what did I want to do? There's something I wanted to do. Oh, uh, well I wanted to record this, so I actually probably just do this again. Because <laughs> I want to record it for a build video. Also, uh, I wanted to close that. There's something else I wanted to do, but I don't know what it was now. I've forgotten. There's a lot going on right now. Um, okay, so I think that, is that the height of the pit that I wanted? I think that was a pretty, wait, let me have a look. Parks and Rec, that's what I was trying to look up, Parks and Rec the pit. I want roughly the height, maybe it was like two levels down. Uh, so I'll just show you what I'm looking at. So just Google image searching. So we're, we're going to try and do stuff like this. Oh, I was hoping that image would get bigger, but it didn't. So like that. Uh, I'm trying to see a person in it, for scale. I mean, maybe, I guess we can just look, do something that looks kind of, I mean, I guess it's probably like one level, but a little bit more than one level. Oh yeah, we're going to do a tent down the bottom too, <laughs> for when Andy goes in the tent. So we're going to be doing that as well. All right, so that that's what we're looking at. Oh, also, thank you so much for the donations. Are you recording this time? Not yet, because I haven't started. I'll just have a look at the donations real quick before we get into it. Um, we had, we've had a bunch of them actually. Uh, so we had $14 from Laura. Here we are again, third donation. This is very important to me since my grandfather passed away in August. We knew for 20 days that he had cancer. Prostate was probably the origin, but his body was full of it. He was 86, born on April 14th, therefore the $14. Sorry for the long message, but I'm really proud to see how uh, proud you are when you hit goals again. Going great. Well, thank you so, so much for the $14. I'm really sorry to hear that, but it's super nice what you're doing uh, and donating for a great cause as well. And we had $5 from Sam, and they said, Samaj, I have MDD and generalized anxiety disorder, and I've always been a voice for men's mental health and men's health in general. I'm so happy that you're being a voice for men's mental health and men's health. Thank you so much, Sam. I very appreciated. And we had $5 from Alexandria, and they said, My family has a history of mental illness, and I know firsthand that it's often not talked about enough. Loving the fact that you're shedding light on the issue of mental health. Keep up the good work. Watching the stream from Tasmania. Hashtag worth it. And thank you so much for the $5. That's awesome. We had $10 from Laura. Thank you very much for that. And we had $33 from Simone. Uh, today we ha uh, held my grandfather's funeral, and this donation is in his honor. Love you. Um, thank you so much, Simone, for the $33. And I'm really sorry to hear about that. Uh, but that's very, very generous of you. And it's a nice way to, to honor your granddad. And we had $5 from Amber. Uh, and they said, My father suffered from mental illness, illness, which took his life when I was a child. So I love that you support so many great causes. Thank you so much for looking forward to this stream. Well, thank you so much for the $5. And that's the thing. Um, I think a lot of people have... A sort of a, a fairly personal connection to all this. It's very, it's way more common 
than it should be, like sort of mental health and, and all that kind of stuff. So the fact that you guys are being so generous about it is awesome as well. All right, so I'm gonna hit record and we're gonna start making a pit. <laughs> making a pit. Now, uh, I think we could probably go lower than that. Actually, let me put a wall down here so we can figure it out. Because I want it to be, okay, not, we're not a super tall wall. We'll do like a normal wall. Actually, maybe a medium wall. We'll base it on that. Can I just drag it down? I think you can, yeah. So if we do this, oh yeah, this will make it easier to do. So I think we should go a little bit lower than the medium walls and maybe about that height. What do you reckon? I think that's pretty good. Uh, so then we're gonna go flatten to height. So is this the one? Yeah, so if we just get this to line up to the bottom of that wall, which I, th I think is there, it's kind of hard to tell at the moment, but I'm just roughly guessing it. Nope, a little bit higher. Probably go a little bit lower than that. Uh, one more higher. All right, now that we have the height, that's good. <laughs> okay, so we've got the height that I want, and then I'm gonna use this one here to, oops, no, this one here, sorry, to bring this back up to this section, because I don't want this bit down, because that's the half of the lot. Right, I'm gonna bring that up. All right, so then everything here is gonna be flattened to this height. Mm, that's a bit smaller. What is it? I'm building the pit uh, from Parks and Rec <laughs> with, uh, with Ann Perkins' house next door. Okay, so it's gonna come out here. Go along. Alright. Then we'll bring it out a little bit more. So just go to the back right there. I made it almost, maybe not on time. Hey, well, I mean, we've basically only just started building, so you've pretty much made it perfectly on time. Alright, that looks pretty good. I think so. We've got two squares around each of these sides. I did that because that allows us to do like a fence if we need to. Um, I don't know that we will, but if we if we need to, we can. Alright, so let's get rid of that wall. So this is going to be the depth of the pit. Um, and then what we need to do now is get out the smooth terrain tool. And I think we found that this one was pretty good to get the right slope. Do you reckon that that's a pretty good slope? Or is that too steep, do you reckon, still? No, that's pretty good. I think that's probably pretty good. And then we can do like a smoother slope somewhere else. Like, uh, to like, so you can actually access it. I think. Um, so we'll just bring this around. I actually want it to come sort of more into the pit. There we go. That's pretty good. All right, oops. I'll, I'll neaten it up as we go through as well. So obviously some bits that are a little bit not ideal, but we will fix that up. All right, so that's the beginnings of the pit. So I'm just gonna bring up these edges here a little bit. Uh, on here too. That's good. And then we can bring this down the bottom to sort of flatten out. So it's kind of basically just squaring it off. That's what I'm trying to do. Terrain tools are here. That's right. Now, uh, this is this whole side is a little bit different. Let me have a look. I think that's probably, yeah, I think that's a good sort of slope. So if we do the same sort of thing on this side, we should be looking pretty good. I think we'll bring it back in a little bit to there. One more or is that too far in? Actually, that's probably where we... Yeah, that's where we want it, because we were having three tiles. Update is stuck at 100%. No! Although, it's probably just verifying, and then you should be good to go soon, which is cool. Alright, so that's going to go there. Looking pretty good. How many tiles is that? This one's way too many. This is... We need to, like, smooth that out a little bit. I wouldn't make it too uniform. Well, we're just doing, this is just a start of it. Like, we got to do all the other stuff in it. There's like all the stuff in the pit. Uh, and then we're going to have like a little lower section as well, because Andy has a tent down there, and then it's like a whole thing. And then we got to, we basically have to have a ramp built over here as well. Uh, I wonder if there's a uh, easy way, oh, I wish I had a ramp tool. That'd be good. So in, in other games or other tools that I've used, like you select the start point and then the end, or the, the start height and the end height of like a ramp, and you just drag it out and it'll like, to build a ramp for you, but we can probably try and do that. I wonder if there's an easy way to do it. We can probably use stairs. Uh, we we'll use stairs. Uh, it's still gonna be too steep though. We need to go a little bit. I think we're just gonna have to do it ourselves. That's okay. Hey, thank you so much. Um, M X I C E Phoenix <laughs> for the prime sub. I don't know how I'm supposed to say that name, but thank you so much for the sub. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring this up and then we'll use a smooth tool and we'll use turn this into like a ramp that just comes down. Now, I'm not sure the exact location of where that would be, but I mean, it's just a pit, right? So we'll just make it look pit-like and then we'll go from there. 
but I'm just going to bring this. So we're going to try to turn this into a, a decent looking ramp, a decent enough looking ramp. We'll see how we go. Uh, so we're going to go for a smooth terrain. We could probably make it a little bit smoother itself. Obviously, we're going to have to do terrain painting as well to make it look, you know, properly like dirt and not just grass. Looking pretty good. Uh... Leave some space in front of it for lounge shit, like up here. Uh, I guess, yeah, we could, we could probably bring the front in a little bit so we can do some stuff around the front. Because there's a bunch of stuff we need to do. They're like The thing is, the amount of times that they go to the pit and then it's like there's something slightly different. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to bring this up. I think if we just start leveling off a few areas as we work our way down, we can use this to sort of sculpt a ramp, roughly. Sims girl 83 thanks so much for the tier 1 sub. We'll do this, and then if we sort of smooth out between these two, or these ones, we should be good. Look, I've got a really good highlighter on. A bomb AF highlighter. Uh, no, it's just my moisturizer. It's so, so glowy. <laughs> no, you know what? It's my highlighter, guys. Uh, okay, so if we do this. So then, I basically want it to look like you could, you know, access this area properly. What key am I using? Uh, to do this is the control and the square brackets. If you look in the um, the lessons and then you go build mode and terrain manipulation, you can find all the hotkeys and everything in there if you are looking. Whoops, wrong tool. Whoops. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, wait, maybe that's wrong. Oh, I didn't click on it. <laughs> wait, no, I did. It is this one. Okay, I'm still learning. I'm still learning, guys. Bear with me. All right, so, uh, you want to do, wait, I'm going to have, so, pit, the pit lounge chairs, is it at the front? I just want to see if, uh, it, searching the pit lounge chairs doesn't work. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think if we just do a spot here, it should be fine. Flatten the height, no, flatten the, this. We'll just bring this in a little bit. We'll just do it here, the front. So this is where it will start. That gives us a bit of room here just to put a couple of things at the top. And then we can use this to sort of smooth it out. I'll get a bit smaller because if we go... We only want to smooth between these points. Like, I don't want to smooth onto the side. Like, I want the pathway to be nice and smooth. It is sloping in a bit, which is not what I want, but we'll figure that out. So flatten to... flatten terrain. Yeah. Let's try and get the same... Distance to the edge there, hang on. Add terrain to the 90s build. No, we don't need to do that. The 90s build is done. It's over. It's over. All right. Oh, that's way too low. <laughs> Bring that up a little bit. Hey, thank you so much. Rampaging fires, I guess, for the 100 bits. Very appreciated. All right. So let's go like this. Looks like you can't do ponds like in The Sims 3. No, no, like, well, when they announced the terrain tool, they said you couldn't do ponds, so we weren't expecting uh, that. But they said they uh, would, they want to do it. They would look into doing it. Uh, but they, for now, have just, well, just, for now, they've given us the what they've got already done, which is pretty sweet. Now, let me bring this in. I want that to have a pretty straight edge like that. I mean, we want it to look like it's just been dug out, really. Okay, so can we change... Let's just change this terrain, because this is no good. Where where do I even... Do, oh, it's here. I was like, where do I even do terrain paints anymore? Ooh, is that new? These two are new. Salted sand and muddy mud. Oh, cool. We got new terrain paints. I think they're new. At least they look new to me. Nice! Um, uh, I'm wondering which dirt... We should use is scorched earth. Oh, that looks like very pity. Um, all right, so thank you so much, Hannah uh, Bunyan, for the prime sub. Very appreciated. Oh, I guess actually we should probably do the same dirt as that because you can't paint the sides. So that's this dirt, or at least it looks like it. So let's go with this one, and then we can do some we can do some different dirt tones in it as well. I don't know why I'm doing it so slowly. I just need to cover the whole thing. There we go. 
And then we'll blend it in as well, like we'll do some different tones and all that. Okay, so let's go like this, bring it way down. The game is taking so long to update. Well, it's okay, you can hang out here and watch me have fun. <laughs> right. I'll have to blend these sides in a little bit better later, but I think for now we've got a good pit going. Uh, are you sure you can't paint the sides? Yep, I'm sure, because they said we can't, and also you can't, as you can quite plainly tell. Uh, <laughs> Now, let's see. So we want to do... There's, so there's some like concrete pillars, and I think what I also need to do is get like a little lower section as well. Let's figure out where we're going to put the tent. Let's bring that down. It doesn't have to be much lower, but just like a little section that's even further down. Alright, let's have a look. Hey, thank you so much Doodles of Mim for the Prime sub. Tent. There we go. <laughs> Is that like a black tent? Not really. But his tent looks so crap in the show. <laughs> These all look way too good. I guess I'll go with that. That's probably fine. Um, Hopeless3017 for the two month resub. Thank you so much. Parks and Rex is my fave. I love this. Love ya. Well, thank you so much. Alright, fine terrain. Let's just bring up this area a little bit more here. And have that down there. I think maybe. Okay, we need it. We definitely need to get some more terrain paint in here because having this all the same color does not look good. Which we already knew. <laughs> Which we already knew. We just do it like this. Get some like lighter. And then we could also do something that kind of looks like little piles of dirt as well. What's going on there? The way that was, it's like blending into grass and then like into the terrain. It's weird. Anyway, let me just bring that back in. Uh, so let me do a little... I can just do like a little, yeah, like this. Not obviously that... Quite stark as that, but we're gonna like smooth it out a little bit. The pit. We're building the pit, is what we're building. <laughs> it seems weird though, because like the, uh, the cliff texture, or like the cliff texture... Seems to not want to blend in directly. It seems to have to go through the grass texture. Which is weird. Uh, console for this. This is coming to console, but they haven't said when yet. They don't know. Uh, they can't confirm. Oh, whoops. They can't confirm, but they, they have said it is coming to console. How do the tools feel? They feel good. Just got to get used to them, obviously. Okay. So they're starting to look a bit pity. <laughs> pity. Um, let's see if we can get some, we need to fix up these edges because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and then we'll blend from this back to grass. Now, I don't think, they didn't really have a fence around this, did they? I don't think so. Oh, maybe a little bit. They definitely had a big pile of dirt at the top as well. Maybe I'll bring the back of the pit in a bit and then do a pile at the back because it looks like they have one there. And there's actually also a bit that sort of comes in maybe around here. That has a pile, like sort of level up there. All right, so we'll, we'll play around with it and see what we end up with. Uh, thank you so much. Why always you in for the prime sub? Very appreciated. All right, so we'll just start off like this, and then we'll figure it out. They did a fence from petitioning for a fence after the people kept falling in it. <laughs> I guess it, I guess it depends which version of the pit we want to build. You know, which pit do we want to do? Oblivion lights at the hundred bits. Thank you so much. Whoops. Um, okay, so let's bring out the flattened terrain. That's probably too big. Make it quite sharp. So this is going to come out here. So we'll adjust our little ramp again, but we're going to have a section that sort of comes out here. And then on this, they had like... Okay, I'm just, this is just based off Google Images uh, of the show. I had like a little pile of dirt on it as well. Hang on, I need to make that smaller and way smoother. That's gonna go there. Then we'll bring, obviously, this little ramp down and around. It's all a trial and error process, you know? Also, how come I can't see the, um... Ah, oh, so I turned off the grid. I was like, how come I can't see the grid? It's because I turned off the grid. <laughs> That'd be why. So this will just come around this like this. 
And then we'll sort of smooth this out as we go around. Did I go? Oh no, that's right. Okay, so I'll go there. Actually, I could probably just use this tool now. It'll be a little bit easier. Hey, thank you so much. Hanny98 for the 100 bits as well. Very appreciated. So that's going to come around. Uh, then there's other just random... Well, seemingly random, just like little plateaus as well around the place where they've sort of dug out. Like obviously it's a site that they've dug out, so I'm just going to put a little section here as well. So it just makes it more interesting rather than it all being flat. Oh, that looks pretty good. I think it's looking pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's starting to look pretty cool. Let's just smooth out this a little bit. Uh, we'll have to test this with the sim to make sure we can actually walk down most of this, but I think that looks like you should be able to walk down it. We might even be able to have access here too, to that bit. Uh, Gando sims with 100 bits. Uh, you just fill the pit with basketballs and you have a more convincing ball pit. <laughs> actually, I wonder if you could... Hmm... You probably could make, like, a terrain edited ball pit and then put basketballs in it, like, put loads of them with move objects. Oh, I want to do that now. Not right now, but I want to do that. <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, what do we do? Let's get some lighter dirt on this as well. Don't forget the bench. Where does the bench go? Because, like, I, the problem is these images, they're good, like, they're good, they give me an overall view, but obviously there's specific scenes from the show where they have, like, different setups. And they have, like, little lounge chairs at one point. Maybe over here? I'm not really sure. So Anne's house is going to be on this side. But I'm just trying to figure out where stuff is. It's hard to tell. I've got, like, some reference images up. Uh, so it's not... I don't know. It's kind of... So this has, like, some basement stuff built around it on that sh that shot, but then it's different in another one. I don't know. Like, we would... I guess we'll get some of the key features, but the rest of it can just be sort of improvised. Uh... Calm... Calm Owens 003. Thanks for the prime sub. Um, this is pretty good. We'll do some more little areas. Uh, so there are, we might need a little bit more room anyway through, maybe we have a section here that sort of sticks out a bit too, because they like, there's a shot where they're sort of standing right on the edge here. So I might bring this in a little bit. So then we can, we have enough room to put something there. It's pretty good. Another shot, they do have like a... This is more leveled off here. I don't know if that needs to be that low. So this is like more leveled and then we could just move the ramp here instead. I don't know, we just kind of do whatever we want really and we just roll with it. That's my plan. We just do this. So you, can, you should be able to get down here. I don't know how well it'll work, but we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out when we test it all. Um... Kuchin Monster, thanks for the Prime sub as well, very appreciated. Okay, so... That's good. That's looking like a pit. Let me just hit stop recording on that, on my little footage. Because I want to go through some of the donations now, because we've got a few more donations. Which is amazing, we're at 70% of the goal. So, let me have a look. Give me a second here. Um, so we had $20 from Rebecca, thank you so much for that, very appreciated, and we had $20 from Jasmine, said I donated before but seeing the goal go up this much over the last days has made me want to again, I'm studying psychology, I want to do research later on to, rep oh, I want to do research later on uh, to improve treatment for mental illness, until then I'll support projects like this, love your work, thank you so much for raising awareness for such an important topic, thank you so much Jasmine for the 20 bucks, and then we had $10 from, from Molly, uh, mental health is so important to me as someone who has suffered from, uh, with depression for years. Before my dad passed away, he too suffered from mental health issues, but never felt like he could talk to anyone about it because he was a man. What you're doing here uh, is so important. Well, thank you so much, Molly, and I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that, but it was very generous of you. And we had $5 from Alex, and they said, third donation, just cheered some bits your way, but figured uh, I could afford... Oh, that I can afford to uh, spend a bit more money to this cause as well. Let's get to that 7,500. Well, thank you so much uh, for those five dollars. So thank you so much everyone that's donated as well. Okay. Um. Right, so I think that's looking pretty good because this gives us a few... Do we need any other like key areas? 
But looking at the sides, I might extend this a little bit further back, because I think it actually kind of goes all the way back, so I might actually level out most of that, and then there's a few dirt piles around it. So I might just do that right now, and if there's anything else, let me know. I'm gonna bring this back around. Bring it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit quicker. So this will come through here. So the whole day watching yesterday's stream, it was so funny. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, yesterday's stream was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was just silly. I might bring it in a little bit at the back so we can do some stuff around the back here too. But that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty good size sizable looking pit still, so I'm quite happy with that. Make it a little less soft. And we'll get another whoops, another dirt pile there. And then maybe some smaller ones at the back. Let's bring it along like this. And then we could do some some stuff over there or something. Alright, so that'll go there. Then we are gonna Oh, hang on. Paint that. Actually. Actually, I probably should have painted- oh, whoops, that's sand. <laughs> probably should have painted most of the ground as dirt first, and then- Then I want to paint in some little grass areas as well. It's not all just dirt like that. It's all about- it's all about the detail work. Rip recording. Why rip recording? Nothing wrong with it. Um, Gando Sims with 100 bits. Thanks so much, James. I seriously suggest you create a Selva Doradian excavation site with the terrain tools now. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. I am recording. Why do you guys keep telling me to record? I'm recording. Do, I don't have to. Do I have to announce every time I hit record? Because over there it says recording. <laughs> it's okay, guys. Take a breath. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. Alright, so get some grass around here. There we go. Little bits here and there. There we go. Um, JB815 with a one year resub. Thank you so much for that. Very appreciated. Um, yes, I do have to announce every time I record. Okay. Oh, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't mean to make you worry. I will. <laughs> I will announce next time I start and stop recording. I'm sorry. I don't think we're going to do a fence around this pit. I don't think this is the pit when it has a fence. Although I think when he has a tent down there it has a fence, so... No, oh, whatever. We're, we're, you know, we're building the tent at different times. What is the, um, what is the name of the pit Brad thing? Is that from the show as well? Keeping in mind, I haven't watched the- like, I re-watched the show, obviously, but I- the last time I watched it was probably, like, what, a year ago? More? Maybe a year to two years ago? So I don't really remember. So I didn't even remember the Pit song. I need to re-watch that show, it's so good. It's looking pretty good, hey? Looking pretty good. Hey, thank you so much to Clarity B for the 30-month resub. Thank you so much. Uh, you just want to call it Brad, so that has nothing to do with anything. I mean, you can call it whatever you want, but there's there's no way for me to actually name it. Oh, Brad Pit. Okay. Okay. Well, if you had said call <laughs> call the pit Brad, so it's called Brad Pit, then I at least would have got it. <laughs> like I didn't get it. I was like, what? Why are you calling it Brad? All right. Looking pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Now we got to start doing some details in the pit. I think what we got to do. Uh, so. They've got basically like some construction for like basement of a building going. Oh, look at these two new wall, half wall heights as well. So what I'm going to do, I reckon. That's too big. That's that's a full wall height. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, that's too big as well. Oh, actually, we can do we can do like. No, no, no. Let's do one like this. So this is going to go here. Like that. Okay, so then we paint it with concrete. Where is that concrete? There's a concrete texture somewhere, I remember. I remember I found it one day, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Here we go, yeah, this one. I don't want white. That's actually, that's probably too dark, hang on. That one. There we go. Oh, it's already all painted? Cool, all right, so we do that. And then we're gonna get a different wall 
trim on top. On top. Um, good news is I should start looking a little less dark on this side soon because the sun is rising, so that's good news. And also, equally good news, or at least currently. Oh, actually, maybe it's not. Oh, it might clear up. I was going to say it looks a little overcast, but I think it's clearing up, which is sad. I was going to say, so it's not going to be too bright, but I think it will be. <laughs> um, okay, so then we're going to get out some... Uh, basically, we need something that looks like steel, like rebar. So maybe these. Eh, that's not great, though, is it? Maybe... We could use these and just make it like a... Oh, actually, you know what would... Oh, no, that won't really work. I was going to say what would be good would be the... Uh, stuff from... When I finish sentences. Uh, from uh, get to work, like the... Beams that. That's too tall, though. That's the problem. Like, it really needs to be a lot shorter. So maybe we... Oh, I know what we could use. Maybe. Actually. Uh, let me do... No gameplay unlocks entitlement. God, I hate that cheat. Actually, I didn't even want to do that. Why did I do that? I wanted to do test oh, te te testing cheats on bb dot show hidden objects. Okay, that's what I want to do because I think there might be that we're, we're gonna want. There's like gonna be a lot of items that we can just chuck in the pit because I mean I think. There's just trash, there's just random bits of wood in there. Like, there's all this random stuff. I can get some planks, like, look at this. BB dot move objects. Oh yeah, there's gonna be planks, hell yeah. I mean, it's a little floating. We'll have, we'll have to reposition these, but be good just to get some out. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna get a bunch out and then we'll position them later. Cause I think, cause doing them one by one later on is gonna be annoying, but we'll just do that for now. Hey, uh, Heath96 for the 10 month resub. Uh, thank you so much for that. I'm poor, but I'm going to keep giving you money. Happy 10 months. Well, I mean, if you need the money, you should probably keep it yourself. But thank you very much for the 10 month sub. Very appreciated. Woodwork in progress. Oh, it's done wood blocks. That's good. So I'm just going to get out some random items that we can use. If there's any suggestions, then uh, that looks kind of good, but then <laughs> it's just a big pin. If any suggestions of stuff that we could put in the pit that you know of in the game, let me know. Like some of this stuff is good. It's like woodworking things. We definitely need some trash, so I'll get some trash out. There we go. It's not necessarily going to go right there. But, um... Put the mop to salvage trash. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, at the moment I'm just putting stuff there, then like I said, we'll uh, find a home for it later. Plunger... Where I like the, um... Driftwood, that's good. Bunch of twigs. Seaweed? No, maybe not seaweed. <laughs> ashes? Here's some ashes, there you go. Dirty clothes? We could do that. That's not in debug though. We'll get just some regular dirty clothes. Hey! Flippy Flab! Your bits worked! 100 bits. Back again, I wonder if my bits are broken like the last stream. No, they worked. That's awesome. <laughs> not a bucket. Should we do, um... Uh, we could do like the, a barbecue down here, like the trash bin. I don't think he actually has that, but oh, maybe he does. I don't know. Anyway, we got a log. There's another log. Um, is there any like um, I f is there any like pallets or anything in this game? I swear there isn't. I know on the bonfire, we could just set up a bonfire down here as well. Anyway, actually, what I need, let me get back over here while while that's all going. Um, so, I would love to use columns, but it's just not going to work, is it? Anyway, so I'm going to go to decorations. I think maybe in here... Mm, that's not ideal, is it? What about these? Why is that floating up there? I, oh, I guess because... Yeah, I see. It'd have to face this way. Yeah, because it goes up on the hill that way, doesn't it? Which is slightly annoying. Um... Oh, you know what? Is this... So, okay. If I move this wall... Yeah, okay. So, this is something important to know. Uh, also, Fizzy Locks, thank you so much for the two-month resub. So, uh, something that they did with Terrain, which is really awesome, uh, is that if you build a wall or a room over Terrain, uh, like this... So, if I did this, 
it you can see it cuts away all the terrain so that it doesn't like go into the house but if you move it you haven't destroyed the terrain like it's still there the game knows that the terrain is still there but what this means for this particular thing right here is even though I've got this wall through here and it looks like it's flat when I'm going to place an object it's placing where the it like it knows that the terrain is so knowing that what we then want to do is just flatten our terrain to that point um, in this particular area. So if we just do this, it shouldn't visually change anything, but it should allow us to hopefully place the column there. Oh, you know what? I might have to do it without it there. <laughs> I think I might have to do it without it there. I don't know if it works while it's there, but let's have a look now. So now, hopefully that's a bit better than before. Nope. Actually not sure why. May uh, maybe it's just because it's too... Maybe because it's like right on the edge. Hang on. Let me have a look. Why is my grid turning on? I can't turn my grid on. It won't let me. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm on a different level? No. Oh yeah, I was on the next level. Um, hmm. uh, I can put it there. Mm, maybe you just can't go there because the footprint of the item is too big. Probably have to be smaller. Yeah, so this one fits because the footprint is much smaller. I don't want that though. Uh, Blue Fox 21 with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Um, okay, anyway, I'm trying to make like a like concrete and rebar looking thing. Uh, maybe a fence actually would be good. It might be a fence that's appropriate for this. This could... What does this look like? That kind of looks like a construction-y sort of, like that almost looks like it could be like a rebar type thing, you know? Kind of. I'm okay with that. We do that and then blend it in. I wish I wanted to say like white though. Maybe we just do this. These are too big though, I need to scale them down. But then they're too small. Would I ever do a landscaping video like tips? Yeah, I said earlier that I'm going to do a tutorial uh, later on. So that's going to go there. I'm going to use a taller half wall actually just to blend this in a bit better. Go to there. Um, we use this one. Use the, the taller one there. Damn it, hang on. Keep that so I can just get this in. And then we're going to get out this one. There we go. Just do it one by one so I can copy all of this. Beautiful. Oh, did I not copy the wall trim? Whoops. That's one thing I needed to copy. There we go. The fence on the bottom of the list. I will look in a second. Uh, no, none of them look as good as this because it's supposed to look like the rebar in like a structure before it's been like poured. Um, Malundi with the prime sub, thank you very much. All right, and then we need to get out. So maybe, maybe uh, the columns, you can't scale them, can you? Damn it. Can they please add scaling of columns? <laughs> be so useful. Uh, what else could we, what could we use? Cause we need like some stuff that, maybe wall decorations. Ooh, hello. Use gutters. Oh, this look. This kind of works. I just do that. Have these through that, and then we could even. I can't really put it in the wall though, because it's sort of. Can use something else on the wall, maybe. Although I guess these go in front of it anyway. I'm just experimenting and you know, seeing what works. Um, let's see what else. Is there any other these? Could I use anything? Could I use these for anything? Actually, these might be able to work. I need like wood. <laughs> I just need like wood to like build stuff with. I think this could work a little bit. Well, that color, maybe just like, I don't know, let's just do that. It's just, it's just there, why not? And then, one thing I do really want to do is like have like, uh, if we use the cardboard dance floor to go underneath. Actually, does that come in a different color? Oh, it does. Oh, yes. We can get this. It's like they've sort of put it here to 
they were sort of working in the area. Oh, okay, not that one. No, not that one. Okay, no, we can't use that one. But we can do that one there. Can we do... Can it, I think if we go small, it's still going to be two. Because the footprint still says... Yeah, no, okay, we can do that one. Which is good. It's floating a little bit. We might just have to level the terrain there. The cutting board. Uh, I mean, we can't even just use... Oh, like on the wall. Yeah, that's true. We can use also these, actually. Seeing as you mentioned wood. Let me get some of these over here. I knew these would come in handy. Because I just want some sort of, like, construction thing going on here. And then we need to build a few more, like, uh, foundation-looking columns as well around the place. Which maybe we'll do out of just a wall. Like, if I use... so that or something too big actually that might have been why the columns are so big because I had the wall height set up oh okay after all that it's because I had the wall height set tall set tall set tall uh, so, so we uh yep I thought because I, I thought I changed that that was the first thing I changed uh, okay well that would have been easier I'm just trying to see which one would be best Because the ones that look like... Uh... Which ones? Because these obviously look like some sort of... Column thing. And I guess I could use this one. i use that and then just get rid of that. Just so we didn't completely waste our time, we'll just do one. <laughs> do one on the end. <laughs> there we go. So do that. So then this... Uh, idea of this guy... Is to be like some sort of foundation column or whatever. Nope. Like a color that's gonna blend in better with it. Fix the thing, one of them is play strong. Well, actually, that's how I wanted them all placed, if that's the one you're talking about. I wanted them all to be like in it, but then the rest of them didn't do that, so I'll just move it here. At least sort of like that instead. There we go. Uh, but yeah. I fixed it. Okay, none of these are the right sort of color to match. All right, whatever, it'll just be that. And then we need to have little poles sticking out of it. Maybe we can do them like this. Oh, actually, if we use like the medium wall height one. Wait, is this the tall one? I need the medium. Oh, yeah, this will be good. Okay, so we use this one. Do this. What does this look like? Oh, there you go. See, that's the kind of thing I was trying to do, like with this. We can just have a little bit of construction coming out of that. And then I might actually remove that bit there. But keep... Oh, see, that, that sticks out right in front of it. Let me remove it so it's the same spot. See, that sticks to the wall there, though. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so that's going to go there. Um, then what we could do... Oof. Everything on my computer just like froze for a second there. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> you maybe could do like have a little bit of a foundation kind of thing around it. And we can use, I'm gonna use a dance floor here. It's so a bit of cardboard around it too. Oh, okay. Well, it's in the room, so that's not gonna work. It needs to be like outside of it. Maybe just like that. Okay. We're looking pretty good now. <laughs> That's looking like a pit. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's move some of this garbage up here too. Now, here's the thing. This garbage is going to start stinking and physically smelling in the game. So, I mean, take that for what you want it to be. <laughs> it's either good or it's bad. Uh, what else? There's a bit of trash around the place, really. The rest of it's good, it just needs a little bit of detailing now. I think we just start getting some things around it. The problem is we gotta try and place it so it doesn't look weird. Uh, when it's like, sticking out like that. So we either just get smaller items or... 
Because I wish you could move, because you, you can move stuff up, but you can't move them down. I really hope they've sort of patched in a feature where you can move stuff down into the terrain. That'd be really good. Because it makes it hard to sort of place stuff there. So we can get it here. Do we want to do like, uh, what kind of items do we have in here? We have just some sort of like things growing, but like not really, you know? Because it's obviously been left alone for ages, so it could have like just sparse growth. <laughs> growth. Doesn't that just sound so nice? Like that. Yeah, I know they're paint buckets, but I don't think this would, uh, unless it's actually in the show. I don't think they had, oh, they had like some heavy machinery as well, but I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Um, okay, I need to see where the grid is. Makes it easier to sort of visualize stuff. Yeah, that's like floating there. That's gonna be a bit hard to place stuff in, so maybe not there. If you scale stuff up, we can sort of clip it in the, ter the terrain a little bit. Uh, now, we could do a bench, I'm thinking we do a bench here, and then we could do like the lounge chairs maybe over this side. So, do, does anyone have like an image of it? Because I got a, I got a picture of like the bench. Like a little bench and then it has a couple of things next to it. So let's go decorations. No, not decorations, what are we doing? Uh, comfort. There's, I mean, it's literally just a crappy little bench that's there. Um... That's too big. It's just like a two-seater bench. Bench. Not really one that matches it, but this is be crap enough. I guess maybe it like it's sort of sitting on like two concrete blocks though, which I don't have. Sure, I'll do that. Even this is a bit too big, but whatever. I can't really make it any smaller than that anyway. Uh, now, actually, is there um decorations? Is there like a block or something I could use? <laughs> like a concrete block that I can put underneath the chair <laughs> so it looks like it. What are these? What do these look like? If I do that. No, the top doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Something that just looks like a block. Uh, so Friday Get Famous will be released. Uh, are the influencers getting early access? Actually, so yes, this time tomorrow, well actually th three hours before now, tomorrow, uh, I think is when we can post. So I will probably do a live stream tomorrow that around the same time as today. So stay tuned. Cats and Dogs Gravestone. Oh, look at, look at these dirt clumps from... Um, but they look stupid though, because they're sort of sitting up. Jungle Adventure. Um, do we want a crate? I might just put a crate down here. Maybe there's just a crate. I'll figure out where it goes in a bit, but... A lot of dirt clumps, which is good. These. I don't know if this blocks the sims way though, because it's like a huge item that I've scaled down, so it might actually like get in the way and I might not be able to use it. So I'd probably prefer to use something smaller. Again, same same sort of issue. Also, it's way too big. Uh... Hey, Gendo Sims with 100 bits. Uh, check out shells and end tape. Oh, true. Actually, yeah, there's, um, is it side table? That's like, I mean, this is marble, but. I didn't even do something like this. It's a smaller size, it might look, it's like a block. I mean, we don't really need to do that detail, but it's just, I don't know, it's something that I noticed on the show. I was like, huh, that's kind of cool. Um, ever, ever adored. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Use a newspaper rug? For where? This doesn't need a newspaper rug. Alright, can I actually do a little bit of... Yeah, softer. 
that is that really as small as it can be? Can I not make it smaller? I have a smaller brush because I want to just get the little the one tile in the middle. Because I want to have like a little hole in the middle of the. Why is this so big? Small size is. Smaller size brush seems too big. I just want to like, oh, I can't do it. I want to bring down the middle of that, you know? To have like a little pit in the middle of the chair, but I guess I can't. Um, shift scroll wheel. Let me try it. Oh, I can go smaller. You just can't choose it. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, I didn't know that. Let's see how much we can do. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to bring up the sides. Hang on. Uh, oops. It's a bit smaller. I don't know. I don't know how this well this will work, but <laughs> I'll try it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, why not? <laughs> hey, thank you so much to uh, Lilac Llama. Uh, for the sub as well. Um, I was all level up a bit in front of it too, so at least it's sort of. There you go. <laughs> I'm making an underground bunker and a hill with a watchtower. Nice. That sounds awesome. Whoops. Okay, so that bench is gonna go there. And then, oh, and then it has like two little lamps next to it. Um, like basically like this. Well, it's, it's actually a little further back but from the pit, but that's where that's going to go in this one. Uh, so then we also have, uh, we'll continue on with the pit in a bit, but we also have a uh, an alleyway that runs next to the house. Well, it's not really an alleyway, but I guess it kind of is. Which is the sort of side access. I'm trying to find a good photo from the show. And that has like a little chain link fence on it. Which I think they might have added afterwards though. So if we just get some concrete. Let's just use this one for now. Maybe like that. Yeah, Ann Perkins' house is going to go here. It's kind of like that. And then there's like... The problem is we don't really have a small chain link fence. We have like a giant one. So I don't really want to even add a fence to be honest. All right, but that's looking pretty good. All right, so we need to change. Let's um, let's just paint the terrain just next to it. These are also new, by the way. These textures. I don't even know if it's going to look any good. Now my brushes are too small because I changed the size of them, I think. Oh no, this is just because terrain painting brushes. Terrain painting... Oh, whoops. I don't actually want to use that. I don't know why I selected that. <laughs> the, um... Yeah, these sizes are different to the uh, other ones. I'm going to basically paint this in and then we'll sort of work from there. Yeah, it's going to come down here. And then let's get a little bit lighter, a little bit of highlight on it. There we go. So that will run along the side. So that's the side axis and there's the pit looking pretty good. What are we building? We're building a pit. Not just a pit. Lot 48 from uh, Parks and Rec TV show. Hey, thank you. What do I want? I want a lighter dirt. Thank you. Uh, love storms for the hundred bits. Alrighty, that's looking like a pit to me. I love this house. So cute. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna quickly build up the the actual house from the exterior anyway, and then we'll sort of figure out where it goes. So, I've got like reference images up. So it has like a little bay window like this. There's a cross like that. 
goes back in a little bit, has maybe two there, goes back in a bit, has maybe four or five there, maybe six with a bit more room. And then we have, I'm trying to find a I don't know, I don't think there's really any side shots. I think it's basically just a rectangle from that point forward because it's just a simple like lot house like this, I think, from what I can tell anyway. Like that. And then there's actually in the alleyway shot. Um, which is actually a different location in real life, but it looks like, I'm trying to look at the images. There's like an alley, but there's a garage there. The garage, I don't know. We got we to take some liberties with this because this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> as far as, you know, when TV shows have like layouts, they, they don't actually match anything. So we kind of just make it up as we go. All right, well, whatever, that's fine. Um, where's the house again? Let me just do this bit. Let's do this bit, then we'll figure out the other bit. Right, so we're gonna go roof like this. It's obviously very, whoops, hello, it's disappeared. Very uh, shallow roof. Probably about that, that's about right. Uh, Alice 90 with a two month resub. Thank you so much. Uh, also, I'll be going through and checking donations soon. So thank you to everyone that's been donating already. Really appreciate it. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? This um, this roof goes out here because that's a balcony. Actually, I think this needs to go a little further out. Like this. Because it looks like a two wide balcony at the front. Or a balcony, a porch. Like that. And then we've got to put a fence there, obviously. I'm going to use this same roof. Like this. Uh, now this does... This has its own little roof in the house, but we can't really do what they've got there. So I could either just do that or just do a custom one. So I might just do this. It'll probably look better anyway. Uh, although it doesn't really fit. Oh, actually what we could do. Hang on. Do this. Will this work? Also, I'm thinking of doing a, um, that's not gonna, it's not gonna work the way I'm trying to do that, actually. I'm thinking of doing a updated roof tutorial, because from the time that I actually did my one, it's changed so much. All right, so this needs to be that height. It goes there, so then that can drag into the rest of the roof, sort of blend in that way. That's all right. It's pretty good. Um, pitch looks about accurate. Yeah, pretty happy with that. And then it has like a yellow kind of siding to it. Light yellowish. I'm gonna go colors, get some yellow. It's basically just this. Have a look at all actually, just see if there's any others, but I think that's probably the one to go with. Yeah. It's like very, it's a very uninteresting house. Um, Nerth the word Perth. Chang, thanks for the 100 bits. Don't know how to say that name, but thank you. Uh, I would like to do maybe tiles that look maybe a little bit lighter, but there's not really ones that kind of match the tone. Maybe these ones, but lighter. No, that's not really lighter. Although that's probably, that's probably okay. Lol, it's Northern Downpour. <laughs> well, maybe you should write Northern Downpour. But yeah, thank you for the, thank you for the hundred bits. All right, so then it's like just a really simple fence. I'm actually gonna make it gray. It is actually white, I think. Well, I assume it's white, but a bit hard to actually get white because uh, it looks way too bright. Oh, if you're wondering what these are, these appear when you do show hidden objects. So that's not new. That's same old, same old. Oh, we could do this house on um, foundation if we want. You know what's cool? Is that now, because like normally when you do foundation before, it put everything on foundation, but now that they've separated it, you do one bit at a go. So this bit can raise up separately from the other bit. I just want a little bit of like a, a step up. Nice. Oh, and same with all of these as well. These all appear when you, um... It's the transparent one. There's like one of them that's like a... I remember in 
the air foundation. I don't know how they work. Some people have used them. I think this one's like a wall that you can maybe put windows on or something. Oh, it's there when it, that's the transparent one. Yeah. So you can use it to do that. It, it, it has its uses, not in this case. <laughs> Uh, and then we just want like a little fence, not that. Is there like a vertical simple fence that looks like that? I don't think so. There never is, is there? We'll just use this one then. Actually, is there a gray one? Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, and it's just like a little concrete path, similar to this, but actually I need to move this house way further back too, by the way. Uh, I can't move the whole house. I'm gonna have to move the rooms, damn it. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so let's move this back. I built this way too far forward. So, um, we could probably also move it closer to the that alleyway is. Let me move it back to there. That's probably looks like a good distance. All right, let's move all this over. I love that you can do this just in Sims 4 in general. Then like, so I, I never, I never worry about where I'm going to build a house. I remember in like Sims 3, it's like, you have to, you better build that in the right spot. Otherwise you're going to have to move the whole thing manually. There we go. That looks like a better distance from the, uh, from the house. So we can do some like landscaping around that. Okay. So we need a little pathway leading up to it. Probably just that. It's a little bit lighter than that though. <laughs> I love the pit right there. <laughs> it's so good. Oh man. Alright, uh, we don't need stairs. I wasn't going to do that. I'll just use these. This is probably fine. And then, is there like, I want a scummier concrete, but although it all looks good. I think maybe we might be better off painting. Just painting our concrete instead. I guess there's not really any concrete though, is it? It'd have to be like a pebble pathway. Oh, that one. What does that look like? Nah. See, actually, if I had Get Famous, Get Famous has like floor cracks. Because we don't have floor cracks in anything yet. Because um, we got we got wall cracks in the game, but no floor cracks. That's a bit better. I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right, so then there was also like a... Uh, Where's the alleyway shots? A couple. Uh, a really scummy wooden fence that runs down the side. So we'll put that in. I don't know how far forward it goes. I think it actually went most of the way forward, at least in the show. And then they sort of ran down the alleyway. And then actually, I think there's like a garage back here. I don't know if it was for this house or not, but we're going to put one in. We'll take up some room anyway. Um, I don't know how you'd get to it though. Hang on, let me have a look. Let's Google images. Um, Parks and Rec. Yeah, here we go, that one. Uh, I know you can't see it, I'll show it. Hang on, I'll show it now. Uh, hang on guys, stopping recording. Just want to announce because last time I didn't, people got worried. All right, let me uh, do this. So I was just looking at this one. Actually, we might do some more columns as well. But yeah, the pit is different in like every photo. Can I open this in a new tab? Is that what this button does? Oh, it does. Oh, okay, so it's like a little wooden fence there. Then she's got like, I don't think that's the side of the house. It looks like a fence and then the house is just behind it. It's covered in vines and there's like a telegraph pole there, then a garage. So we'll do something like that. I think that's what we'll do. And maybe some more, and like, look at all the trash down here. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> The pit. So actually, we can get a good scale of the pit here too. It kind of. I think we got. I think we got the right depth. That looks pretty close. Did you just call it a telegraph pole? Well, that's what it is, isn't it? Right there, because it's the same as that one there. But we don't actually have that. I guess we could make them out of columns. Actually, while we're here, I'm gonna read some more donations. Thank you, those that have donated. We're at seventy-one percent. Um, let's have a look. Where did we get up to? Where did we get up to? Uh, is this the problem? I, I never know where I got up to in the last reading session. I read that one. 
Should I read this one? I don't know. I'll read it again anyway. I don't know if I read this one already or not, but $10 from Nicole. Uh, thank you so much. It says not a huge amount, but it all goes to a great cause. Love your videos. Have been watching for almost five years now. Keep up the hard work. Thank you so much for the... Uh, Sorry, I was just going to get a different view while I um, read this out. Thank you so much for the uh, $10. And we had $5 from Kitty. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and then we had $3 from Bren. Uh, my dad beat testicular cancer eight years ago, which I'm so grateful for. Hopefully this will help other fathers beat it as well. Thank you so much, Bren, for that. I'm, gl I'm glad to hear that. That's great news. And we had $10 from Violet. Uh, all we have at the moment, but it's a wonderful cause. Also, thank you for the great content. Keep up the streams and vids. Thank you so much, Violet. Very appreciated. And we had $10 from Jeremy. Uh, such a good cause, Samaj. I recently lost my granddad to prostate cancer. It was a huge part of my life and has inspired me to reach my goals and aims. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much for the $10. Sorry to hear that, but that's really nice that uh, it was a big inspiration to you as well. And uh, it's very generous to donate. And when we had $20 from Gemma, thank you very much for that. Very, very nice. And we had $5 from Hanny. Uh, thank you so much for raising money for an important cause. My family has a history of mental health issues, and I myself have suffered with depression for two years. I'm in bed with the flu, watching a stream all the way from England to keep me in good spirits. Love you, James. Keep on the amazing work. Well, thank you so much for the $5. That's awesome. Thank you so much, everyone that's donated. Uh, it's really good stuff. And also, thank you so much to Rowan Laurel. Oh, is it Rowan Yanni? <laughs> uh, for the Prime sub. Uh, also, speaking of Laurel and Yanni, that's the build over there for it. <laughs> it's just opposite the pit. Oh, and there's the, there's the other build, too. Um, okay, so this is what we've done so far, if you're just tuning in. Uh, right here. Please place random mannequins in the pit. Do they have that in the, in the pit? Seems like something they would have that, I don't remember. Is anyone actually named Yanni? I don't know if they're named Yanni spelt like that, but there's definitely people that are named like Yanni or something like that, but I don't think it's spelt that way. Um... Now I was doing a how long command. It's Laurel. <laughs> Yanny. Laurel. Yanny. All right. So, uh, yeah, as you saw in the little picture, so we're building the, we're going to build the, this sort of alleyway area now. Uh, get the side of this done up. So we've got a garage back there. Alleyway, little fence at the front. So that's what we're going to be doing just now. So, that fence is not big enough. I think we need to build it out of just a half wall. It's probably the way to go. Oh, guys, guys, I'm recording. I hit record. Don't worry. Yeah, I think we need to use a half wall instead. Yeah, that's probably the correct size, I reckon. And then we could even just use that for the front. Oh, you know what? We could just do a smaller half wall for the front yard fence. I think I'll do that, and then maybe we could even do... Oh, actually, we can't join that because there's two different walls. We could just use a fence there, and then we'll do a gate to join these two. So we can have the side... Oh, hang on. Really? Conflicting. Oh, oh, right, right, right. So, yeah, I didn't build that on the ground. There we go. Um, so what just happened there, in case you're wondering and you run into this issue, because we have, so we have this house on foundation, the half walls on the ground. Uh, so they're considered two different blocks so they're different heights and they're both out of walls. So if we start building from the wall, this is connected to that block. This is why I need to do a tutorial about this, because if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's confusing. Um, and you can't connect two different blocks with two different heights. But you can also build fences on the ground that aren't connected to blocks. So that's why if I do that, it works. But if I do it the other way, it doesn't. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Alright, so back over here. Let's build a garage. Not too... Actually, is there a gap between... I think it might be a different house. But I'm... Obviously, we're only going to be building one house here. So I'll just connect it up to this house area. It's pretty big. Like, it's a pretty... The thing is, we don't really have a door that we can put on that, but we'll, um... Also, this is not big enough for a car. Obviously, there's no cars in the end, but if there was, I think we need to make the alleyway a little bit bigger. Do we just extend it this way? I mean, that's pretty small. I guess, if, actually, if we, if we set it back a little bit, which it kind of looks like it might be set back anyway. We set it back one more, like that. Um... Could be okay and then at the back we can just have that not part of the house i think that's probably okay you could probably get in that right uh, it's probably still pretty small <laughs> um maybe we can move 
I guess we can move this in one, actually. We got loads of room. Let's do that. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Do that. And then we can do... Hopefully we can make this concrete look a little dirtier. Actually, you know what? I'll leave most of that as grass because there's... Oh, uh, actually, no. I don't know. Um... Really big though, isn't it? Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Yeah, we'll, whoops. No, oh, I'm going too far back. Hang on. Le yeah, leave a lot of that as grass and I'll get rid of this bit. But most of the alleyway would be like that, but then we can sort of maybe widen up that area. So maybe there's just a little bit of space there at the end. Oh, actually, I wonder if we could do... Can we use like this for... Oh, can I just use this to save time? Do this. Remove that fence. Oops, didn't mean to remove the floor. <laughs> the one thing I didn't actually want to remove. That's the one thing I want. Remove the fence. There you go, look at that. It's uh, not phallic at all, I swear. It's like a little turnaround, kind of. Uh, there's no way you could turn around there. I don't know, <laughs> that's no point doing that. <laughs> there's no point doing that. Let's just leave it like that and then we'll just do like a fence at the end or something. All right, so. That's good. All right, so then we just need a roof on the back. On this guy. It's too big. It's too big to duplicate. I don't have enough room to just place it. <laughs> Damn it. Um, the only reason I was duplicating it was because I wanted the same roof pitch. But this one fits perfectly. Don't forget to save. No, I love forgetting to save. Actually, we'll move this back one again like we had before. We'll move it back one from where the fence is. Actually, then that's good, because then it's in line with where the house is. That also kind of makes sense to me. Then, if you were to have a car there, it looks like you probably could actually turn it in there. <laughs> so it looks like you could actually fit it. Um, as for a door for a garage, I guess we can use the... Garage door things, but... Um, it's actually not... It's actually one lo- oh. Mother load? Oh. You can't do mother load from here. Alright, stopping recording! <laughs> because I'm in like weird build mode, it doesn't work here. I need to go back to the, the house. Yeah, I know I need- oh my god, that looks amazing from the map. How good does that look? <laughs> Why has it got, like, grass, like, painted on it, though? They never do that normally, do they? Yeah, because they never normally show terrain paints in these. But I guess they do now. Looks pretty good, though. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, that's, I guess, maybe they do now because there's terrain tools. So if you didn't show terrain paint, it would probably just be flat. Anyway. Mother load. We'll do a couple. Oh! Whoops. I pressed M, I think. There we go, 100 grand should be fine. All right, now the reason I'm going to the map, in case you don't know, uh, is because if I enter build mode from live mode, it's raining and it'd be really, this is as bright as it gets and this would be a hell annoying to build in. So to get around that, if you didn't know, you just go to manage worlds and you click build mode directly from manage worlds. Um, uh, I keep forgetting what world we're in. <laughs> anyway, enter build mode. There we go. So now, we don't have to worry about this, the weather getting in our way. There we go. And we have more money. Um, also, yeah, people asking about the music. These are just like royalty-free songs from Epidemic Sound. Um, I don't know where you could listen to them. There's probably maybe on YouTube. They have a channel. So I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, starting recording. In case you're wondering. Alright, so it's going to go there. So we have a little garage. Lovely. Actually, let's bring the eaves out a little bit on this. I guess this house probably should have eaves as well. There we go. It's a little bit nicer too. And all of this. I don't know why I didn't do it before. There we go. Much better. Oh, it's a little glitchy there, but whatever. Okay, so that's there. Uh, that's there. How do we finish off the alleyway? Like, how do we, should we just end it? I, I guess like you should be able to walk through to that. I really wish that this the pathway joined, because that would look so much better than to have like, oh. If I land up the alley with that, it would be good. Actually, we could do. We have enough room. 
Like looking at it here, because we've got nothing on that side of the house. We could just shift over the house and have the alleyway line up with that. Which I guess makes a lot more sense. I wish I'd done that earlier. <laughs> it's like, hmm, hmm, yes, I see that makes way more sense. When you think about it that way. Uh, let's move this. So I'd probably want this. Actually, that's probably good. That's actually perfect where that is. And we can move this to the center of that. So we want a three wide alley, essentially. But we had. I only move it over a couple. And then... I guess four wide would line up with it a little bit nicer. So maybe four wide. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's just a little bit nicer than what we had before. Put that there. There we go. Nice! Alright, then we can move this back and shiffle, shiffle it all over. Because shiffling is the way to go. Whatever that means. <laughs> and we move all this again. This is about the fourth time we've moved the house. There we go. And move that there. Move that there. Okay, so now the house has moved over a little bit more, then we can do a little bit more with the edge of the pit as well, which is good. I like how everyone's just having their own chat about like pizzas and bananas and it's all good stuff guys, I'm proud of you. Uh, I guess this will just go through here maybe. Maybe we can just like have it... I don't know, maybe we can just like break at the end or something? Hang on. What if I just do... Let me just do something like this, and it's like, I don't know, breaking away. Obviously it's not actually going to look like it is, but... I don't know. That looks stupid. Oops, I didn't mean to get rid of it. Oh, don't! Stop getting rid of it! I keep del deleting more than I'm trying to. I'm just make it look a little bit jagged or something. And then I was going to put plants over it. <laughs> just because I can't get it to reach there, it's annoying. Um, so what if I just do, whoops, yeah, what if I just do this, have this, like, sort of over the end of it. Um, and then if we paint, like, dirt around it, it'll probably look a lot better, too. I don't know, I don't know if this is the way to go, but it's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know if this is the way to do it, but it's what I'm doing. Down. I'll bring down the um I'm gonna paint in this side bit and then we'll can blend it in a little bit more. There we go, looking good. Alright, so that's what we're doing with that. Now yeah, I wish there was like a really um a much smaller looking chain link fence. Is there anything in decorations maybe? Sometimes there are. Not like a chain link fence, but it doesn't exist. They have like the giant one, and I don't want the giant one. What about that? Uh... Hmm. Chain link fence. I was just having to move as like a decorative object for it. But... Oh, actually, you know what? I've got. I don't have um. Turns off when you come back in. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Katrine. Clara, the hundred bits. Uh, the jail cell walls. Oh, actually, <laughs> but this. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. Where where are those? I guess I can just search cell maybe. That's a wall, impenetrable. What's the difference between? Oh, they're different height. What's the difference between these two? These are like the same. The problem with scaling them down is then they're going to be tiny and I have to place like a thousand of them. <laughs> and it, it doesn't really look like a chain link fence though, does it? <laughs> it's a good idea, but I don't think that's the way to do it. It's probably better just not having a fence. Uh, oh, the roof. Whoops. Sorry. Wait, which one's misplaced? Is it the one behind it? There we go. Um, no, one wasn't a door and a wall. 
because the door was the other one. Hang on. Oh, so I'll show you. Because this, uh, there's like this and then these are the doors here, aren't they? Neither of these are doors, are they? Single serving, the impenetrable. Or is it a door? Hang on. Doesn't look like a door, it looks the same. Looks exactly the same. Because these are the doors. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Your game finally updated. Nice. Alright, let's just, uh, let's not worry about that right now. Let's get, uh, so this needs to be a wooden wall. Because that's basically what it is. Well, it's actually like a fence kind of thing. So I think this is probably good for fencing. Nice. I think I might change this to an actual fence though. Because I don't know if I'm happy with that <laughs> as being a fence. Uh... David C3 with 100 bits, thank you very much for that. Although I don't know if there's really a little wooden fence that I would want. I guess maybe this would be fine. But it just like in the show is like a solid fence, so that's why I wanted to do something more solid. Nah, maybe we just leave it as that, that's probably fine. There we go. Now it's also covered like with vines and it looks really gross. So we're gonna be doing that for sure. Wow. There'll be still, you know, there's some, there's some that are green. Not all of them. I uh, would recommend having vampires if you download this a lot now. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then in front of it as well, we'll get uh, not really anything growing in front of it, but I'm going to put some stuff there because I feel like it could use it. Like that, for example. This is like a really kind of gross alleyway. Now actually, she does have like a little access door probably to the house, maybe about here somewhere. So I might actually clear a little space here and do like a door area through here. Um, like that, or maybe like... Something that looks like, I guess it would go in a... F it could be like that. Actually, that's pretty good for a thing. Uh, a bit smaller. Well, I'll go there roughly, and then what I'll do is hopefully, actually, because this is only a one level high foundation, we should just be able to put a door in the side of the house, and that should work to be able to just walk through. But we'll obviously test all that stuff out later on, but then that provides access straight through there. Also, I don't know why I didn't build the rest of this fence. There we go. Let's go there. There we go. Alright, so that's there. So th this is like the end of the alleyway. Uh, then around the back, I think we'll just do... Should we just continue this sort of fence? Might even just do it like that. Come around this way. I don't really want to do the fence all the way down the side of the house, just because it gets in the way. Like half walls, because half walls don't go down. Which is good when we want something like a fence, but I don't think I want to block in the entire house. I'll just do it around the back and then maybe we'll just do a normal fence. Or maybe just no fence on the other side. I don't know. Maybe just a small offense. Right like this. I don't know. Um I do because I do kind of want an enclosed backyard though. Maybe we could do that. Like have maybe maybe we could do this this to here. So the backyard's enclosed, and then just not have anything on the side. I guess if I'm doing that, I should probably... Oh, no, I can't connect that anyway, because the way it works. Couldn't put a wall there if I wanted to. Is there a single fence, a uh, single fence gate that I could put in there that's going to look okay? I mean, I guess we could do this. Can't place on slope. Uh, I mean, it's not. Uh, I mean, you can flatten it if you think it's a slope, but that's definitely flat. <laughs> it's definitely flat because you can see the grid. I mean, I guess I could just not have a gate. <laughs> could also just do that. <laughs> Let's just not have one. Problem solved. Let's put that in front of it so you, oops, so you don't really see it. We don't need a gate there anyway. 
Yeah, we can't join that together just because the way the, the walls are different heights, so we'll just do that. Okay, so that's going to go there. So that's the back garden. Not very big, but I think that's appropriate. Uh, don't mind that house next door. That's the front of it. Looking pretty good. I would like to do... Maybe we could do like some... It's like a visual division. We're using these. The division. So then like, that's clearly the side of the alleyway. We could do like some fence. I just don't know what... I'm just not really feeling any of these as like a appropriate fence. Because this is just too big. I mean, maybe we'll just do a bit of it. Like what if we just do like this section here that maybe has a fence. Oh, let me do it so it's evenly spaced because that looks really annoying. Maybe we can just do like a little bit and then have... I feel like it needs something there. Like that. It's lovely. Flat earthers are here too. Dude, the, what do you mean flat earthers? You mean round earthers? You believe it's round. You are correct. <laughs> I mean, if the earth was flat, how could you have a pit? Am I right? <laughs> Alright, let's get these in. Get some down this way. I probably should make this a little bit more dirt looking. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream. If you're just tuning in, we're building uh, the pit and, uh, and Perkins house from Parks and Recreation. That's what we're working on. Actually, we needed to do more of these columns, didn't we? Uh, so let's do another. Oh, it even comes with the cardboard. How good is that? I don't even have to place it again. Do one here. Oh, that's perfect. We can get a few of these around the place. Get one there. Oh, okay. Maybe not. We'll get rid of the cardboard there. That's good. I like that. That's good. Thought we had a chain link fence. No, we have like this giant fence. Uh, and then we like. I guess technically this is a chain link fence in a way, if you know what I mean, but it's not really, it's not see-through. It's also too tall, like I just want a fence that's much shorter. Uh, but that's why I'll just do a short run of the fence, so you at least get the visual, like, idea of a fence being there, but... Uh, won't actually have a fence for most of it. Um, some of these along the side of the little alleyway. So, whoops, see daisies? Put like a thousand just there. pretty good. Um, I wish that I could change the color of this. Maybe, what does this look like? Let me just actually see if we just paint, do terrain paint instead, what this would look like. It's too bright, you know? Maybe that? No. If we're going to paint it, it'd have to be like this. We could do that as an alley path. Although, why is the, for some reason, the transition between this and dirt has to go through grass. So, it doesn't even blend in that well. <laughs> Maybe I think I think we just leave it like that. Right, let's not let's not overcomplicate that. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a mess. All right, that's gonna go there. Um, that's looking pretty good. Um, so I'm stopping recording just so you know in chat. I'm gonna hit save. Too bright. I need a patch for this patch. But terrain paint was like always like this though, is the thing. It always did that anyway, that's not new. Samaj, you're not recording. Oh good, thank you. Thank you, I know. I'm so... Do you like my highlighter that I put on today? <laughs> it's very warm in this room. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open the door real quick. Ah, <sighs> it's better. Oop. Are we gonna do the interior of the house? Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the whole the whole build. So we're gonna continue on finish off the house. Uh, obviously, the main feature of the house is the pit. The thing is, we don't really know what the house looks like. We have a few scenes, like we know what the living room looks like, and the and a little bit of the kitchen, but not really. So most of it would just be we'll make up, do whatever we want. It's not entirely a natural highlighter though, because I put on face moisturizer before stream, so that's actually what it is. 
<laughs> um, also, I think we had some more donations as well, so I'll just go through those while we're having a quick little intermission. So this is the pit. It's coming along nicely. Whoops. Uh, let's see, what do we get up to? I think we had that. Yeah, we had that one already, I think. Oh, no, wait, no, we didn't. Um, so I think, yeah, we are $20 from Melissa Volant. Thank you so much, Melissa, again, for another donation. Very, very nice of you. Then we had $10 from Kira. They said, I lost my dad to depression several years ago, and I myself have suffered from it for a long time. This cause is very near and dear to my heart, and it means the world to me that you're raising money and awareness for it. Keep being so wonderfully awesome, and let's surpass another goal. Well, thank you so much, Kira. It's really, really nice of you, and I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, but it was a very generous uh, donation. And then we had $10 from... I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Tion... Tion... I'm sorry, I apologize, I don't know how to say your name, but $10, thank you so much. And they said, hey Samaj, what a great cause. I've experienced lots of episodes of depression several times in my life, and so has my mother. A few years ago, I collected 800 euros for mental health awareness in Netherlands, and it's a global problem. So I'll gladly donate to my favorite Aussie YouTuber slash Twitcher. It also happens that I lost my grandfather to prostate cancer last month. So this is this one's for him too, keep up the good work. Thank you so much for that $10, and I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that, um, but it was very, very generous of you. And then we had $15 from Marilyn, and they said you were awesome. Well, thank you so much for the $15 donation. And we're at 72% of the goal. And then we had another $15 from Koroki. Kor thank you so much for the $15. Good stuff. All right, so. Oh, actually, um... Let's just do a quick uh, playing of The Pit, uh, the song by Mouserat, so that you all know what The Pit is. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really tell you anything, but... Uh, is it this one? Is this the one I played before? I don't know. No, it was an ad. I've got to wait for the ad, guys. There's no sound. Oh, there we go. Pit. I was in the pit. You were in the pit. Slow we pit. all were in the pit. Uh, and yeah, that, that's Chris Pratt singing to the. I uh, saw someone ask that. So if you don't know, <laughs> you know this is uh, this is based off a TV show that what we're building. Uh, hang on, let me bring up the. Uh, I'll show you the website. So if you've just joined us or you don't know what we're doing, so the pit is uh, from Parks and Recreation. So uh, I just found this website that had a few reference images. So that's the house we're building, and the idea is next door to the house there's this pit uh, on the show that like this. So we're building this pit and we're building the house next to it. Uh, and then one of the characters who's played by Chris Pratt, uh, he at one point lives in the pit with a tent. He lives in a tent because his girlfriend was the, the uh, was Anne who lived in this house, and then, then she kicked him out, and he lived in the in a tent at the bottom of the pit. So yeah, uh, <laughs> and in the, in the show, his so, uh, his band Mouse Rat, he uh, sang the pit. 
So yeah, <laughs> if you haven't seen Parks and Rec, you should see it. It's great stuff. Except the season one's... Eh, you, probably, you probably skip season one and not really miss anything, I'll be honest. Uh, is the path to the house offset on purpose? No, it's not. Uh, it's because we moved the house like five times. So that's probably a good call. I would have noticed it eventually, but you've just got it to me now. So there we go. Should be there. Love that description. Gonna watch it. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, the pit's not even done yet. That all, all this random stuff here that's just kind of placed there, we'll uh, work on that a little bit later. You can skip. You can't skip anything. It's all hilarious. I don't know. Season 1 is not great. Like, even I'm a big Parks and Rec fan, and Season 1 is still not great. Even on a rewatch, I watch Season 1, and I'm just like, this is just not anywhere near as good. Like, it gives you some of the story in that. I mean, you could probably watch, like, Episode 1, maybe, and Episode 2, and then you could probably skip to Season 2. My mic is crackling. That's weird. Uh, what if I just do this? Is it any better, or is it like... Is it still doing it? Oh, I don't know. Hello? Hello? Well, when I... Hello, I am testing. Is it... Still? Hmm. Well, if I, I, if I stop talking, the microphone just mutes, so that's probably why. Uh, is it still doing it? Does it sometimes, but... Mm. Gone now. Sounds better. Every once in a while, just some. What is it? I don't know what it's. The thing is, I have no idea what it sounds like. Um. It's fine now. It's gone. What? Yeah, hang on one sec. Let me just do this anyway. Okay. I just turned everything off and on again. Uh, sounds like crinkly paper. Maybe there's just someone that's doing this next to it. Did that make any difference when I restarted it? Sound like something scratching your mic. Sure, it wasn't just me doing this by accident. <laughs> Does sound like it's gone good now. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. That was weird. I don't know why I did that. Hey, Chris Dina with a tier one sub. Thank you so much. How many, um, where are we at with subs anyway? We are, I don't know, I'm trying to find, but where is the number? Oh, there. We got 468 sub points. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. So I think we're, I think we're back on it sounding good again now, hopefully. Can you mess with the cord or something? It's not can Well, I didn't mess with the cord at all though. It just kind of randomly started. Maybe when I moved it. I don't know. Is your chin itchy with no beard? It's back. Was it after I touched it? Like this? What does it sound like? I didn't even see what it sounds like. Is it still doing it after I've finished? Let me check. I'm gonna do a recording. No. I don't hear anything. It's only when you're touching it. There for a little while you touch it. Because I just recorded and I didn't hear Hang on, I'm gonna listen to it. Testing. It's so quiet. What do you wait? Where is this sound? I don't hear it. I don't hear anything. It's stopped now. Okay, I don't know how to diagnose this because I don't. Is it just like because I'm touching it like this? Is that doing it? <laughs> okay, let me test. Hang on. Oh, okay, yeah, I get ya. Hang on one sec. Okay. Uh, 
As long as I didn't do it again. I, I think it's okay. I mean, this cable's pretty old. So if I, if I do this... Oh, there it goes. Ooh, that's doing it. <laughs> okay, I should probably just stop doing that. Uh, anyway, uh, right. Okay, anyway, so I'll just stop doing that. Oh, it should be fine. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Uh, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just not touch it. No, it's not loose. It's, um, it's just, I don't know. This might be the cable. I mean, it shouldn't ever do that, but it might be the cable. I could always replace it at some point. Anyway, all right, let's, uh, let's do some more building because we've been a while. I'm recording, don't worry. Okay, so the back garden, I feel like this grass is too green. Um, are you going to put the garden into the pit with the... Bamboo. What? I'm gonna put the garden into the pit. I'm gonna put the garden into the pit. The garden's here. Um. Uh, oops. Yeah, tell me if it comes back without me touching anything. Please stop. I did stop. That was like an hour ago. I feel like people tell me to do stuff and they're like, because they're, they're watching the stream like 30 seconds behind when it actually happened. So they're like really out of touch with everyone. There we go, that's a bit better. I think that's a bit nicer. Well, nicer. Do I promise I'm recording? I promise I'm recording. <laughs> Should we have a um a backyard like porch or something? Like a little back deck? There's a community garden in the pit. Well, not in any of the pictures I was looking at. Um I do remember that though, actually. But I don't think I'll do that. We didn't really plan for that. Alright, so I'm gonna do this, and then I'll have like a, a little back porch. Like this. Oh, that's perfect. It fits perfectly. Uh, so we've got the side door there. Uh, I don't think... I will... Should, where should I have the gap to get down? Maybe on that side. We'll do it there. I'll just leave that bit open like that. Does the side door work? Uh, probably. Uh, it should do. But we'll, we'll test it when we get to the game and all that. Oh, can I not... That's... What do you mean uneven? It's not even anywhere near... Is it because the roofs have eaves that it won't let me get that close to it? Wait, why can't I put that there? It's not near that. That's like a block away. Maybe because this roof has an eave? Wait, it doesn't. Does it? Oh wait, maybe it does. Whoops. Nope. That's not- why can't I put it there? It's not touching it. Uh... Because I can understand not being able to put it across, but it's like it's still a tile away from it. Well, that's annoying. So yeah, I'd understand if it was there, but it's here. Why do I have to have, like, a two-tile gap? Ugh. Uh, they didn't break roofs. It'd be the same for the flooring. Oh, actually, wait, we can put flooring there. Okay, maybe they did break roofs. <laughs> okay, never mind, I take that back. Because I can put flooring there. But for some reason, I can't put a roof there. Uneven base. Uh. See, I feel like if you can do flooring, you should be able to do roofs. Well, that sucks. Um, I guess we'll just do a flat roof. I'll just, you know, whatever. That'll, that'll do for now. I mean, I wanted a nice old porch roof. Or I guess we can bring it back. You know what, let's just bring it back. Let's just do this. It'll look better anyway. Delete that. That's annoying. That shouldn't happen. Okay, at least we can have a nice little, uh, little back porch still. That's good. I like that. Uh, well, that's nice. It's nice. It's different than usual. Yes, there we go. Little windows. There we go. That's probably a little too high up, actually. I'll just line it up at the door. That'll go there. All right, and then it's so around the front. We have three larger windows on this. Well, actually, larger than that. Maybe I should use these ones. Actually, these are too big. 
<laughs> Damn it. I guess maybe just these would be fine. Actually, they're kind of, they're not even a white frame. They're more of a, like a gray frame window, but they do have like really thin frames. I don't know that there's anything I could really... Oh, actually, maybe these could work. Not exactly right, but I mean, none of the windows are going to be exactly right anyway. We're doing roughly the same. Uh, kind of like this, actually. Do they have a similar color to that? Wait, is that? What color is that? Or, I think it's supposed to be like a gray, but I don't think it actually is. What house am I looking at? The one from Parks and Rec. Now these windows are too big, I think. I think I need to use the smaller ones. Maybe like the, no, that's too small. That's too big. See, we're a bit of an impasse now. Okay, we can do these. This will do. Get a couple of these. All right, and then instead of these ones, I'll swap them out. Do they have a version of those ones that are single tile and tall? Or is that not a thing that they have? Hmm. I think that's a little too dark though. Maybe we'll just go the gray. Probably be better. Oh, that's the same window. <laughs> uh, what about these ones? These might be a good one actually to match that. Kind of. I don't really look like that, but. It just looks so bland and doesn't have much detail to it is the problem when you use a lighter colour. But I guess we'll just do that. We'll do that and then there's a bunch of plants and all that in front of it, like a lot of landscaping, so that'll make it look a little bit better. Alright, that'll do. And then there's no window there and it's just a door on the side here. Uh, so we'll just go for a door like this. Pro Maybe not that, it's a little bit outdoorsy. Outdoorsy! <laughs> like that, there you go. So we have a door there. That goes in. Uh, now down the side of the house we can do windows, but we'll probably do smaller... Actually, we could do larger windows because it's the side of a house anyway, so you're not going to see it. You have loads of leftover veg. Nice. No idea what you're talking about, but awesome. Uh, I don't have... You know what? Probably should do the layout before we just randomly do windows. <laughs> All right, so actually I've got some interior shots as well. There's not much. We only really know what the uh, living room looks like. And even then, not much. So I reckon we can do the living room here. And then it looks like there's a kitchen behind it. Is that where the kitchen was? I don't know. I'm going to be making up. Yeah, that's where the kitchen is. And it actually is the back of the house. It's a pretty small house. So I might make the living room a bit bigger. Maybe do it like this size and then have the kitchen here. Then we can just do bedrooms on the side. I guess this kind of needs to be a hallway with that door though, doesn't it? Might actually move the door over one. Because then we can have like bathrooms here. I'll do the same over here as well. Move all this over. Ideally I'd like the door leading straight to where the uh, kitchen would be. Because that would make sense in a way. But it's just not going to work out that way with the layout. Unfortunately, TV show layouts rarely translate to realistic layouts that make any sense. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Put that there. And then... I feel like she had a hallway off the side here, but that's just not going to happen either. So... Maybe we can do... Actually, we could do it like this. Such a stupid layout though. But that can then be a hallway there. Because then that's a bedroom, a smaller bedroom, master bedroom. And then weird bathroom and something else. I don't know. It's kind of, oh, Maybe that could be a bathroom and that could be a bedroom. That makes more sense. Yeah, okay. I mean, the hallway's not ideal. Look, I would just do this, but I kind of wanted access from the living room to the hallway. Uh... Is there a front door? Yeah, it's right there. Um, well, that's not so bad. Anne's house is so much smaller than this. I mean, from the outside, that's about the size of it. But like I said, rarely do TV interiors translate very well to actual houses. I think a house is the depth of the house is more shallow, but I think in this case that would work out fine. 
We're just gonna use it. This is not gonna be an accurate recreation. It's uh, inspired by... Actually, let's get some lights in here. How am I doing? I'm doing well, because we got terrain tools. If you haven't seen it, it's over there. <laughs> that, there's terrain tools. Or can we just have the back door? Do we need to have the side door to the house? Yeah, because that's on the show. Like, she uses the side door all the time. And of course we want a back door, because then we have the, uh, the garden. Because otherwise, you don't want to go to the garden through that door there. Yeah, there's terrain tools. They're over that way. <laughs> if you want to see them, they're there. That side door won't work though. It should do. Um, do we want to do... No, she has square archways. We'll do that. And then we're just going to do one here as well. Like, it's a bit weird, but, you know, whatever. It's just the way it is. Um, put that there then, I guess. And then it looks like there's like a bookcase there or something. And couch goes here. It gives us a bit more room to play around with as well. And there's a few more things. Just looks like, yeah, just looks like she has carpet. Yeah, this is huge, by the way, compared to the show, but whatever. That's what we're going with. I have no idea what floor our kitchen is, because I can't really tell. Probably like a laminate or something. The main space open plan. It is, it's right there. And it sort of go. it has like an archway. I've, I've got the screenshots from the show here. It has like an archway that goes through to where the, uh, the kitchen is behind it. Yeah, I can't really tell what it is, but whatever. And the access point of view. Oh my god, yeah, I, forgot, I totally forgot we had um, first person. It's shift tab uh, when you're in live mode. You hover over a sim. Oops, I think it may be that. Probably what this house would have. Maybe that. It just like blue walls. Uh, much lighter blue than that. Maybe that? Oh, actually, that's pretty close. Nice. Hey, thank you so much, Ash Trash, for the T1 sub. Very appreciated. And we'll probably just use it in here too, to be honest. Do you know you can press spaces switch between Sims? Yeah, I do that a lot, actually. That's also a helpful hotkey. Uh, okay, so then... Uh, oh yeah, the, so the door opening thing in first person, yeah, that, you could always go through doors, which I didn't know because uh, they didn't really tell us much, but if you right click, I think it is, instead of left clicking, if you go through doors, it kind of looks like a green wall in the kitchen, I don't know, I can't really tell, so I'm going to go green. Um, and then, I mean, I'll just do this carpet in the bedrooms, so those are going to be bedrooms, that's going to be a bathroom, I'll just use the same sort of flooring for that. Don't mind the plane outside. <laughs> It's pretty loud. Uh, it's all good. Have a door there. Bathroom door can be... I'm going to do it around the corner here. And this bedroom door can be here. And then maybe we'll do different wallpapers in the bedrooms. I have no idea. I don't know what a bedroom is like, so whatever. Let's do like... One that looks decent. I do like the blue though. The green is gross. We'll just do like the lighter one. Lighter blue. A lot of blue though. Is that the same? Oh yeah, I did change it. Let me just do do blue. It's a lot of blue. <laughs> it's a lot of blue. Maybe go to the green like we had in the kitchen. I don't know. Small room could be an office. Well, the small room's gonna be a bathroom. <laughs> Otherwise, we don't have a bathroom. All right, so uh, we're gonna go. So there's a window there, window there. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna get these around the back. Look at these windows. There's a few of them like that. Uh, I don't know that we need windows on that side of the house. I mean, we can. We can. We'll do maybe some near the front, actually. We we'll use these ones. We'll get one like here and here, maybe, and then maybe leave that wall, and then we'll do some landscaping. Only the wall between the arches is the blue, the rest are tan. Oh, really? Well, that's the only screenshot I have from the show, so... <laughs> oh, actually, no, yeah, that one, that totally is, I see. They're like, well, they're not really tan, it's more of like a cream. 
literally like that. But then, oh, I can't the carpet's gonna look so. It's gonna be. It's like so. It's like this, <laughs> which is actually how it is. But I guess we can. <laughs> 